everyone! Welcome to our Lifehouse Kids program! We're so excited to see you here today! So let's stand up together and let's worship God! Let's go! Let's read this week's Bible verse together. It's from Luke 10, 27. The man answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. Also, love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your amazing word. We open our hearts, so please speak to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey everyone, it's Curious Kate! Did you know that the Bible teaches us that it's very important to love God and to love others around us as our neighbor? We want to love them just as we love ourselves. But who is our neighbor and how can we love them? Let's find out what it says in the Stories of the Bible! Stories of the Bible The Good Samaritan This is Jesus hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world you see, when Jesus was on earth, he wanted everyone to know what God thought about things. So he took every opportunity to teach people about God's heart. <clears throat> One day, a religious expert stood up to test Jesus by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus replied, what does the law say? The man answered, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Eh? <laughs> right. All right. Do this and you will live. Wait. The man then asked, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied with a story. A Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by bandits. Ah! They stripped him of his clothes, beat him up, and left him half dead beside the road. <laughs> By chance, a priest came along. <laughs> but when he saw the man lying there, Ugh, yuck. 
he crossed to the other side of the road and passed him by. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la, whoa! Another man who worked in the temple who was called a Levite walked over and looked at him lying there. He's out. Uh, huh? But he also passed by on the other side. Then a Samaritan came along. Ah. Yeah. Samaritans were hated by Jews. They were seen as lesser people and Jews would not interact with them. But when the Samaritan saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan soothed his wounds with olive oil and wine and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his donkey and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. One room, please. The next day, he handed the innkeeper two silver coins, telling him, Take care of this man. If his bill runs higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I'm here. Now, which of these three would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by bandits? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. Then Jesus said, yes, now go and do the same. Hmm, why do you think the first two people didn't stop to help the injured person? They might have been too busy or in a hurry to stop and help them. They also might have thought, oh, someone else will help them. But in the end, the Samaritan, the good neighbor, stopped and helped the injured person. Even though Jews and Samaritans didn't get along at the time, the Samaritan man stopped and helped the Jewish man. This shows us that our neighbors are not just our friends and our family or our classmates. We should love and help those around us even those we're not close to. It's important to be kind to everyone, especially those in need or in trouble. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you that you give me opportunities to help those in trouble or in need. Help me to not just help them, but to love them too. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's talk to those around us. How can I help those in need? Hmm, if I know the person, I'm gonna help them right away. But if I don't know them, I'm gonna ask my family to see how I can help them. How about you? For this week's activity, let's make a love band-aid! First, get two pieces of craft paper and cut out two shapes like this. Next, fold one of the shapes in half, cut out a window, and then draw band-aid patterns on it like this. And then lastly, glue the two pieces together and then draw a heart saying love inside the middle and you're done! Ta-da! And let's spread God's love by helping others! So why don't you try this and we'll see you next week! Bye-bye!